In this video, we will see how you can display sales for last 13 weeks, starting with current week. So this is always going to be dynamic. To do that, we'll take advantage of date dimension. In Gauta comes with date underscore us dot csv file, flat file. You can define your date table based on this file and use this as a date dimension and join it with other transaction tables. Now let's quickly look at uh, week sequence column here. And let's bring in date as well. So for each date, I have a week sequence column, right? It tells me, uh, the, it, it sequentially shows a uh, week sequence in this date table. Now, if I filter it, let's uh, do equals and then filter it by current date. This returns value of 2070. Today is uh, 4th September, by the way. Now, if I can have a session variable or some variable where we store this value, I can use that to filter and show sales by last 13 weeks. It becomes really easy to do that use case. Now, I already have this session variable that I've defined to get this value. This session variable returns a week sequence from date table based on this filter where date is equal to dollar current date. When you click on test, it returns 2070. Next week, this will return 2071. So it becomes really easy now to, to design your filter where you get uh, sales revenue only for last 13 weeks. Let's see how you will do this now. So S1 sales table, it's already joined to date dimension here. Sales one table joined to date dimension. So I can take advantage of that. So let's click on explore data and do an aggregated table. And uh, let's do week start date. And by week start date, let's see what the total revenue is. Now let's do this filter as well here, which is this one. Pretty straightforward. This filter is using Boolean expression. And I have two condition here where week sequence is more than equal to dollar current week sequence. And I'm using integer here because session variable returns data types string. I'm just converting that to integer because this data type is integer. And second condition here is week sequence greater than current week sequence minus 13. So that I get all the, uh, this filter will return only last 13 weeks then. Let's validate and save. Let's save this in new dashboard. So there you go. Now current week uh, start week start date is nine one, and then all the other dates. Now uh, this is this is good. You can do it this way. But another way of doing this is where, for example, if a business user is doing this and uh, business user doesn't want to design this filter condition, it's pretty easy to move this into business view and then uh, make it reusable. Then it becomes pretty easy by all the users who, are, who have access to that business schema to use that logic. Now, to do that, I already have defined a new column in, in, in business schema. This is the new column, last 13 weeks. So this is going to return true or false, depending on this condition. This condition is exactly the same that we reviewed in a previous dashboard. So if uh, if week falls in last 13 weeks, this is going to return true. Otherwise, it will return false. And I can use this to design a filter in the dashboard. Let's see how you will do that. So let's use this business schema and do exactly same uh, aggregated table. So let's do revenue and then week start date. And filter here is now going to be last 13 weeks is equal to true. So this really simplifies how you apply your filter, right? So there's 13 rows. Now I can bring it day name as well here and sort it by day number so that it's showing me Sunday first and then other days. Let's save a new dashboard. That's all. 